Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Total Meltdown 2. We have an exciting event for you tonight. Two title matches. The first match, the Swordfish titles. I spoke to the champions Marianne and Mayhem and their opponents. Let's cut to those interviews right now and get that match underway. I am here with the tag team champions Marionette Mayhem, Paul Ritchie, the former world champion who lost his title to Coco Loco at Freeze Fest 3. Now, Paul, you are not done with Coco Loco just yet. You are defending those Swordfish tag team titles against Coco Loco and your ex-girlfriend, Katie Alexa. What do you have to say to your opponents? Nick Bernard, I have a lot to say. And one thing is, I hope you never bring that up again. That is ancient history, old news. In my mind, it didn't even happen. What we're focusing on today is the tag team match we have with Coco Loco and Katie Alexa. Now, they're not a tag team. We are. We know how to work together. He knows everything about me. I know everything about him. In my eyes, they have already taken the L. Coco Loco, we will have our revenge today. What do you have to say, Mini Mac? I hate them. I hate them. See that? That's the kind of energy that you're going to have to deal with today, Coco Loco and Katie. Get ready. We'll see you in the ring. All right. Well, that was Marion and Mayhem. Let's see what their opponents had to say and get the match started. I am here with the challengers for the Swordfish titles tonight, the new world champion Coco Loco and Katie Alexa. Now, Coco, you defeated Paul Ritchie for that world title, but you were not done with him. You look to dethrone him as tag team champion today, and you specifically requested for Katie Alexa to be your tag team partner. Why this pairing? Well, first off, I uh, just came back from vacation in the DR. Uh, tons of drinks, tons of partying. That was fucking awesome. And uh, yeah, uh, Madman Paul Ritchie, he uh, agreed to step down as our world title champion and give it to me. Not that I really had a choice in the matter. But uh, yeah, requested Katie Alexa because me and her, we, we, we're on good terms. Not, not that too many people are on bad terms with Coco because we know that what happens when, when someone's on bad terms with Coco Loco. But uh, yeah, no, I requested Katie. She also has shares the same hatred as I do for Married and Mayhem. Uh, I would like to take um, their titles away from them and add to my title collection because right now uh, this title, it's nice, but uh, I would like some more. But yeah, you know, shouldn't be shouldn't be too worried about this match. I mean, it's Married and Mayhem. It's, I'm crazy. Katie Alexa, do you have anything to add? Fuck you, Married and Mayhem. Enough said. Let's get this contest underway. <clears throat> and here he is, Coco Loco, the world champion. Became the world champion for the first time after defeating Paul Ritchie at Freeze Fest 3. Over two years in the making, Coco has been waiting to be world champion. He takes on Paul Ritchie once again, teaming with Mini Mac in this tag team title match. And here is his partner, Katie Alexa. <coughs> Katie Alexa has her own history with Paul Ritchie and Minnie Mac, and she looks to take them down here tonight. And here come the tag team champions, Marionette Mayhem. They won these over a month ago at the tag team gauntlet and TLC match. And they are going to do what they can to hold on to these belts. They've been absolutely dominant since forming over a year ago. <clears throat> and I think their reign of dominance is going to continue here today. Right referee is going to be getting this contest started. Yeah, Mini Mac and Coco start out in the ring. What a great rivalry these two have had during their time here at BSW. Ooh, Coco with a slap right away. Takes down Mini Mac. And he drags him to the middle of the ring. Goes for the pin right away. This isn't going to be it. Yeah. Mini Mac. Mini Mac's a tough little son of a bitch. Ooh. Coco, a few chops to the 
head. Oh, here we go. He's going for the big move early. Lifts him up for the power bomb position. Is he gonna land it? Ooh, oh, oh, mini mac reverse with a hurricane rana. That was that was innovative. Ooh, drop kick takes down the world champ. Mini mac tags in Richie. Richie's into the match. Ooh, Coco pushes him away. Oh, he knocks down Mini Mac, taking him out of the equation. Whoa, catches Paul Ritchie. He's gonna, he's gonna land the choke slam. Ooh, Paul Ritchie gets out of it. Tosses Coco to the side. Oh, and he hits him with a Thes press. Coco is being manhandled by Marionette Mayhem right now. Ooh. I don't even know what that was. Paul Richie just ran into Coco, taking him down. More punches to the face. Ooh! And Coco gets away and gets the tag to Katie Alexa. This could be the difference maker right here. Coco's still in the ring, however. What's he doing? Ooh! Ooh, he blocks it in. Blocks in the Lion Samer. And ooh, the move from Katie Alexa. We've seen that before. All the way back at Total Meltdown 1. Can this be it? Ooh, Richie kicks out. He doesn't want to lose the tag team titles like that. Okay, he pushes Paul to the side. Ooh, a kick to the face. That looked brutal. Come on, Katie. Come on, get up, Katie. Come on, you can do this. Richie. He throws Katie to the side. These two have a long history. Ooh. Katie unsuccessful at getting, ooh, any momentum going. Paul Ritchie hits her with the famous sir. Katie kicks out of the pin. How many times are you going to come back? Marionette Mayhem has been in complete control of this matchup so far. Oh, and another drop kick. Tags in Mini Mac. Oh, and Coco comes back in. This could be, this could be big for that team. Oh, and he hits the spear. He goes for the pin. Is Mini Mac going to hit it? The ref is taking too long. Ah, oh, that might have been it if the ref was just, if he was in the right place at the right time. Coco looking to lock in the line tamer once again. Oh, and he gets it. Is Mini Mac going to get out of it? Oh, he's trying to tap. He's crawling to the ropes. Oh, and he drags it back. Oh, this might be it. This is it. Oh! Oh my god. Complete chaos in this matchup right now. Katie and Coco had the win locked down, and Richie broke it up. And now Katie's slamming him into the side of the house. Richie's down. Everyone's down except for Katie Alexa. But Mimek finds the strength to go for the pin. Oh man. Who will capitalize? Minimac doesn't even have a partner to tag. And Katie Alexa comes into the match. I I can't believe what I'm seeing. Is Marionette Mayhem done for? Katie Alexa charges at Minimac. And one more drop kick. Minimac can't even stand anymore. But Katie Alexa lifts him up anyway, and oh, bulldog! Can Katie Alexa find the strength to win the match for this team? To take down these men who've been raining terror on VSW. Whoa! Dropkick City, this match. Mini Mac, where is he going? Oh, and he grabs the chair. Oh! Hits her with the chair. Whoa! Coco takes down Minimac, protecting his partner, knocking him down. Now Coco grabs the chair. Oh, Coco, looking for more weapons to use in this matchup. What's happening here? Whoa! Unnecessary from Coco Loco. A new 
a new mean streak to this competitor that we never saw before. Coco sets up these chairs. What is he planning here? Oh no. Coco, please, come on. No, don't do this. Oh! The choke slam onto the two chairs. Mini Mac is bent. Oh! Richie returns to the matchup, taking out Coco before he can capitalize. Oh man, this. Is this finally the end? Whoa! They set up Katie Alexa. Oh! The total mayhem, I believe that's called. The ref gets up. Unbelievable. Against all the odds, Marion and Mayhem pulled out the win here. An impressive victory from our tag team champions. Those two are going to go celebrate their win, certainly. Katie and Coco certainly disappointed. I am here with Justin Time, who tonight has a Bulldog title opportunity in a tables match after months of stepping up to the plate and helping out VSW. So, Justin Time, what does this opportunity mean to you? Well, Nick Bernard, it's... It's a great chance for me. I'm not going to waste it. You know, last time against Paul Ritchie, I felt that slip through my fingers. I tapped too soon. And ever since then, I've been practicing. I've been grinding. I've been watching people work. I'm feeling well rested. Ross has been beaten and battered. His teammate, Fireball, didn't really help him at all. He had to do all the heavy lifting, so he has to be tired. So I'm going to take advantage of the choices. It's my time to shine. All right, confident just in time. Let's see what Thunder Ross had to say about his opponent. All right, I'm going to walk away now. Hey, hey, hey. I, dude, I, we, got it, we got to do it. No, please you don't. Know, you, know how, you know you want it. Please. Like, pop it, lock it, put that shit in your pocket, baby. Let's go! I am here with Justin Time's opponent, Thunder Ross, who was unsuccessful at capturing the Swordfish titles a couple months ago. But it's not about that tonight, Thunder Ross. You are defending that Bulldog title in a tables match against Justin Time. How do you feel going into this contest? You know, Nick, that Swordfish titles, uh, they should have been mine. And I was carrying the entire tournament. I was running through everyone. And some mysterious stranger uh, fucked me over. So, uh, But that's not, that's not what's important tonight. It's about winning, this, winning, winning against Justin Time. Done it before. He's going to do it again. Simple as that. All right. Well, that match is underway right now. It is our main event for the Bulldog title. of helping out VSW with other tasks such as refing. He has been rewarded with a title match here tonight against Thunder Ross in a tables contest. This should be a one for the ages after their clash at Consensual Violence, one of the best matches in VSW history, if you ask me. And here he is, the champion, Thunder Ross. One and all the way back at Final Reckoning 2 against Minimac. And he looks to take down just in time here tonight. Keep the bulldog safe with him. Both competitors know what this title can mean for their careers. Coco Loco was bulldog champion, and now he is the world champion at VSW. The right man can use this as a springboard for the main two, event of ESW. Two, two, three. Thunder Ross and Justin Time sizing each other up. Ooh, lock up. Justin shoves Ross to the corner. Ross pushes back. Neither competitor has taken an early lead yet. Ooh. Both taking their time, not wanting to make any mistakes. Oh, ooh. 
It'll be interesting to see who can... Oh, Thunder Ross makes the first move. Going right after him, and Justin drop kicks him down to the ground. Thunder Ross got a little too... a little too eager there. Ooh! Ooh! Submission from just in time. Ooh, Thunder gets out of it. Remember, folks, the objective of this match is to put the opponent through a table. Submissions don't mean anything in this match. Other than to cause pain to your opponent, like Thunder is doing to just in time right here. Ooh! Justin breaks out of it. Now we're back to where we started. Oh! Super kick takes out Thunder Ross right out of the ring. Ooh! Getting awfully close to my table here. Just Thunder lifts him up. And Justin punches his way out of it. Oh! Drop kick right into the chairs. Thunder Ross is having the fight brought to him by just in time. I'm gonna get out of here, I know what they're planning. They go, they go high. Just in time looking to toss him down. But Thunder reverses, and he throws him! Oh my god, Justin leaped over the table. That could have been it for him. What is he? Ooh! Thunder clotheslines Justin from the top. Over the table. But who will capitalize to put the opponent through the table? He gets the chair, hits him over the back with it. Unnecessary brutality from the champion here. Ooh! Just, just put him through it. There's no need for all this. Ooh, just in time. He's fighting back though. Ooh! Another super kick to the face right there. What's he gonna do? Oh, and another one! Just in time has taken back control for this match. Just in time bringing his own chair into the mix. He gets back into the ring. And now he sizes up Thunder. Oh, right to the back. We're gonna be, uh, be able to see the welts on his back from these hits in a few moments. When he throws it, oh, he misses. Not again, buddy. Not again. Thunder through the chair, dodge it. Now he throws just in time out of the ring. And where is he going now? He's grabbing the table. Oh my God. Just placing it into the ring. We've seen him do this to Minimax. This is how he won the Bulldog title. And now he looks to do the same thing to just in time. Oh! Justin, how, where do you get that ladder? Just in time. Hits a ladder into the gut of Thunder Ross. Might have knocked the wind out of him. Oh, he throws it right into his face. Just in time. Showing he can be just as violent as Thunder Ross. He has what it takes to become the Bulldog Champion. Can he make it happen? Thunder crawls his way back to the ring while Justin brings a ladder into the equation. I can't imagine what he's thinking of doing with that. Justin looks to re-enter the ring. Both competitors are standing once again. Whoa! Justin Jumps on top. Oh, nice monkey flip from just in time. Justin, don't get too cocky. You never know what can happen in a VSW ring. Oh, he catches the foot. That was Justin's fault there. Got a little too carried away. And he flips him over for a suplex. Justin reverses. Oh, and he knocks Thunder Ross out of the ring. An incredible back and forth matchup from these competitors. Showing what it looks like to be a champion at VSW. Justin gets back to his feet, retrieves Thunder Ross. Where is he bringing him? Oh, throws him right into the ladder. 
knock the ladder sideways. Thunder Ross. Yeah. Justin. Whoa! Grabs Justin, knocks him into the ladder. Now both these competitors training blows on top of the ladder. Oh my god. I wouldn't want to be on Thunder Ross's side right now. Right in front of the table. Oh! And they both collapse to the floor. Thunder Ross manages to get to his feet though and grab just in time. Ooh, dodges, dodges the clothesline and he kicks him back into the ring. Justin climbing up the ladder. Oh my god. No, Justin. Not like this. Oh man. Thunder Ross is in the worst position right now. Oh my god. Justin. No! Oh! Just in time. Leaps through the table onto Thunder Ross. He is the Bulldog Champion. I am in shock right now. Just in time has won his first championship at VSW. Winner! A well-deserved victory for Just in Time. Here you go, Justin. A new champion at VSW. This is incredible. Oh, I'm gloating in the face of Thunder Ross. This is what VSW is all about, showmanship. Well, that was an incredible tables match, ladies and gentlemen. I am stunned right now. This is Total Meltdown 2. I'm Nick Bernard signing off. We will see you next time.